Japan. Here's your Bino Town weather forecast. Cloudy all week with a chance of clouds this weekend. Boring! It's the Bino Town Founders Day bonfire tomorrow, so get ready for the gravy toss, Pelta Vicar, and our famous Bino Town homemade jam off. More, more boring! And in breaking news, a mysterious bat creature was spotted yesterday in Bino Town Ooh, Park. Still boring! What? Bat creature? Awesome! Nasha, let's go! We gotta catch it! Dennis, you are not catching a bat. They're dangerous. But, Dad, it's not a bat. It's a bat creature. Sit and eat your breakfast. That's an order. What do you think, Nasha? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. We need to investigate. Now, if I was a bat creature, where would I hide? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> what is it, boy? <laughs> Bloody footprints! Bat creature! Nasha, you know what this means! There's a vampire in Beano Town! Pie face, you're the vampire expert. How do we catch it? Uh, according to issue number four of Lord Tim Vampire Destroyer, vampires only come out when the sun goes down, hate garlic, and can be destroyed with a stake through the heart. <laughs> hey! What about running water? Isn't that supposed to do something? Well, in issue number 12, Lord Tim melts a bunch of vampires in a jacuzzi by splashing them. Well, a jacuzzi might be hard to lug around, but splashing people with water... We can manage that! Water soakers full! Full! Oh. Now, the vampire could be anyone, so remember... Soak first, ask questions later. Let's get them! about that. Uh, we thought you were somebody else. Yeah, vampires! Vamp! Oh! You boys come here right now! Uh-oh! Run! <laughs> Guess the water didn't work. Those are tough vampires, eh? <laughs> I don't know about this vampire hunting thing. Where are you guys going? Mum wants me home early to help stir her gravy. For the gravy toss. She really wants to win this year. First prize is a hat made of potatoes. A potato hat? Come on, you can get one of those anywhere. <gasps> <gasps> is that...? Yeah, a coffin. What this means? The Colonel's the vampire! No! <gasps> Starch me civvies! Uh, um, uh, get him! <laughs> You've trespassed on private property. Explain yourselves. Well, uh, we, um, uh, I, uh. His parents want to. Invite you to dinner! Yeah, they... Want to what? Why would they want to do that? Uh, you know, to say thank you for keeping us all safe with the Neighbourhood Watch and for um, all your... all your great stories and um, clean clothes. Well, I have been out late these last few nights. You know, watching the Neighbourhood. Haven't had a good hot meal in days. 
Yeah, except for people. Great! So you'll come. See ya. Dinner with me parents? Terrific. What are you going to do, Dan? Don't panic. I've got an idea. Oh, I'll get one. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. I invited the Colonel for dinner. Did he just say... Yes, thanks for the dinner invitation. When Dennis practically begged me to come, I was quite touched. He begged you? Our Dennis? Hope you're ready for a long night, because I'm a slow digester. Hi, Face. You said something earlier about garlic. In issue 425, Lord Tim defeats a bunch of Italian vampires by using their own pasta against them. Fresh bread! Get it while it's hot! <coughs> What's the matter? Don't you like garlic? I... <coughs> Water! <coughs> oh, no! Let me help you! Ah, get that away! <laughs> Aha! Don't like mirrors either! That settles it! Nasha, attack! <laughs> Dennis, what's got into you? Have you lost your mind? But, Mum! Dad! He's a... March right over to the Colonels and apologise! Now! We'll just have to show him ourselves. <laughs> there he is. Hello? I could use some help out here. Look. Right, sorry. Just cleaning up. Looks like we've got two to tackle then. I've got dibs on Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Potato hat. Family 
Sunday fun day at Beano Town Lake. What could be better? Yay! <laughs> oh! Now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? There's plenty to do. Here, dig a hole. Ah, this is the lie. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole? Hmm. OK, Nasher old chum. How do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> That'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nasher. <laughs> Ducky, ducky! <laughs> Ooh, a flat-billed Beano Town Blue! And a Pomeranian puff crested Dabbler! Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buzz off! No! Time for action! Crumbs away! Walter, <laughs> but you quack me up. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Hello, what's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in twenty minutes. Uh, okay. This gives me a brain stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. He's coming. Operation Destiny Dennis is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasha. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy. Step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. A nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> What? What is it? If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert! Walter! No! Don't move! I'm coming! I'm coming! It's okay! Catch this! Oops. Bad news! Hooligans! <laughs> <laughs> Typical Dennis. 
and is still causing trouble. <laughs> oh. Ah! If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. Uh oh. <laughs> I've got ya! Dennis, let go! This isn't what I planned! Don't worry! I won't let anything happen to you! if I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? <laughs> Maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky chop chip cherry tutti frutti with extra sprinkles! <laughs> no! <laughs> Leave me alone! Clear off! Leave him alone! Go away! And while one of them was messing about in a boat, the other one knocked me head first into the lake. Have you seen what they did to my petunias? Oh, you, oh, you little hooligans. Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll, I'll spring into action like a jet-propelled panther. There they are. Look, look. Oh, oh, horrible little horrors. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Ha-ha! <laughs> what have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well, then, that's a, that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and, and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go. Come on. Uh, uh. No! Ha, ha, ha! Bullseye! Yeah! And that's for me loopings. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I. Uh, I. Uh... I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie. <laughs> oh. 
I'll be back till Sunday. Are you sure you can look after yourselves for an entire weekend? Of course we can, dear. No problem. Don't worry, Mum. You just go off and have fun. I'm not going away to have fun, Dennis. It's a yoga retreat. It'll be very hard work. Remember, Gran will be coming over tomorrow to help with B. Yes, yes, Mum. We'll be fine, won't we, Dad? Of course we will. We're a team, <sighs> me and Dennis. Now, you just get going. Enjoy yourself, dear. We'll take care of everything. Curly, we're working on a uh, project. A school project? Uh, sort of. It's a pi thing. Ah, mathematics. Pi r squared. Mm, could be squared, Dad. <laughs> or it could be round. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this here, Den. My mum's banned me from our kitchen. Not surprising, seeing as your last pie-making effort blew out the windows. I just used a bit too much yeast, that's all. Hang on, here's the instructions. Uh, Insta Pie, the pie in a box for delicious pies in seconds. Just add water. Just add water? Boring! I'm going to find some stuff to spice it up a bit. Come on, Nasha! Dairy-style whipped cream, lemon-flavoured pie-making product, meringue-type pie-topping stuff and pork sausage flavour enhancer. Pork sausage flavour enhancer? Isn't this meant to be a lemon meringue pie? It's not just for us, right? It's for Nasha too. <laughs> Never heard of lemon meringue and sausage pie before. There's always a first time. <gasps> Dennis, what did you just add? Bulk foodstuff super booster. Well, it's super boosting the pie right out of the basin. Quick, to the bathroom! <laughs> this stuff's magic. All we need now is water. Oh! <gasps> Krishna Vashti Rubber Spine Pose is a level one exercise designed to bring about total relaxation. So clear your mind and just relax. <laughs> relax? Oh, easy for you to say. <laughs> the first paper clip was designed to fasten labels to garments and textiles. The double bend single manifold paper clip was a great step. Dennis! Invented by Hiram P. Kidbart in 1975. Dennis! <laughs> and now, ladies, we move on to the inverted lotus blossom. Look deeply into your inner self. Think beautiful thoughts and let yourself go. <laughs> Everything running smoothly, I see. No problem, Gran. If this isn't a problem, Dennis, I'd like to know what is. Uh, where's B? B? B! B! Curly, pie face, help me clean her up. Of 
I'll find you some nice chocolate. <laughs> chuck, 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 chuck. You're in big trouble, Dennis. Hey, what am I saying? We're in big trouble. No problem, Dad. I've already got an idea about cleaning up this mess. No, it was one of your ideas that made this mess in the first place. We'll clean it up my way. You're lucky your mum's away for another day. Just get this. Oh, it's good for fathers and sons to bond. I don't want to overdo it, though. And anyway, they might need me. Dennis, guess what? I'm coming home. Right now. Well, this yoga thing isn't as relaxing as I thought. And anyway, once you've done one inverted lotus blossom, you've done them all. <laughs> oh. So I'll be back in a couple of hours. Just in time for you to make me dinner. Mum's coming back. Well, of course she is. She lives here. No! I mean now! She's catching the next train and she wants us to make her dinner. Well, what are you waiting for? You will all get cleaning. I'll head her off. Oh, uh, you, uh, you push it. Now, you just... Oh, it, this isn't working, Dennis. I have an idea, Dad. on anyone before. Oh, they call it the inverted lotus blossom. It's supposed to be very relaxing. It doesn't look it. But don't worry, I know just the thing. We'll find you a chiropractor. A whatopractor? Someone will give you a nice soothing massage. <laughs> It's working, Dad! But will we get it finished before Mum gets back? I told her we were going to look after the house, not totally trash it! This isn't the way home! Where are you taking me, Gran? The hospital! Like I said, you need a chiropractor! No! I just need to be home with my family! We can't let Dennis and his dad see you like this! Think of the shock to their systems! Hurry, Dennis! We're running out of time! There's nothing else for it, Nasha! You've got to help me! <coughs> you do the stairs while I do upstairs! <coughs> See? I knew you'd like pork sausage flavour enhancer! office is closed until Monday. Just take me home, Gran. Uh, are you sure? Oh, we could try somewhere else. Take me home! OK, but I've got a feeling you're not going to like it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's so good to be home. <laughs> Yoga classes are fine, but there's nothing like coming back to your own lovely, peaceful home. That was close, Dennis. Too close, Gran. But at least everything's under control now. Quiet. First day of the holidays, and it seems Dennis has finally discovered the joys of having a lie-in. Ah! Quarter to eight! Wait! Bye, Mum! Bye, Dad! Dennis, your breakfast! <laughs> Dennis! Have you made me face, washed my bed, changed my hair, combed my underpants? Yeah. But why all the rush? First day of the halls, Mum! 
Got to get out early and do stuff before the town gets to... ..busy. We are not waiting in that. OK, no worries. I got a plan. Stand aside, folks. Stand aside. Official business. Oi, who are you? Government taste inspectors, sir. Ice cream division. Well, that was a kid's bus pass. Ah, uh, that's cos we're... Undercover. Undercover? You just told me who you were. Look, are you gonna let us taste inspect your ice cream or do I have to call for backup? <laughs> Hang on. Ain't you the dopey one what hangs around with Dennis? Don't be daft. He doesn't wear glasses like these. Oops. Oh, maybe try the zoo instead? <laughs> OK, no worries. I got a plan. I got a plan. Never again! Those rides were way too extreme! Yeah, wouldn't go in there unless you like being really sick! <laughs> wow, cool! Let's do it. Oh, OK. Looks like this may require some serious thought. Is that Neptune or Uranus? So, actually, if we want to be sure we don't have to wait around tomorrow, the easiest thing would be to get rid of everyone in Beano Town. So, easy in the sense of really, really hard, then? If people were pies, that'd be easy. Come on, guys! Ideas! How do you vanish 10,000 people? Ha! Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Excellent. Not a star out of place. Just the way I like it. <gasps> What's that? Whoa. Looks like an asteroid. And it's heading straight for Beano Town. Polish me, kit bag. I think you're right. Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision. Better alert the Neighbourhood Watch. Neighbourhood Watch here. Red alert, Corporal. We have a 196. Repeat, a 196. Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision? Are you sure, sir? Positive. Sound the alarm, lad. Repeat, this is not a drill. Beano Town must be evacuated immediately. Dennis, B. We're in the car, Dad. <laughs> OK, let's go! <laughs> now that is what I call extreme menacing. Better get some sleep, Nasha, cos tomorrow we've got Beano Town to ourselves! <laughs> well, lads, who's for ice cream? Uh, Dan, minor problem. Uh, there's no one to serve us. So we leave some money and serve ourselves. How hard can it be? Uh, OK. Look for some kind of big squirty lever thingy. Go! found a big squirty lever thingy. <laughs> uh, Den, isn't that the... Handbrake! <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got customers. Customers? We can't have customers. Everybody's... <laughs> 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 
I think he wants more. <laughs> yes, it was just lucky for us all I had this with me last night. Uh, what's that there, Colonel? Well, starch me, civvies. I do believe I've been deceived. What? But who would do something like that? Dennis, do you know? I don't like to think what they'll do when we run out of ice cream. <laughs> 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 a big bunch of menacing monkeys! <laughs> ha! Come on! A one, two, three, four! You sure this will work, Dad? Are you kidding? The din makers appeal to the ape in all of us! <laughs> yes! Now back to that fun fair! Dennis! Inside, right now. If there's a way you could make matters worse today, Dennis, I fail to see it. Oh, you will. Ah! Hey, Den, coming out to. Oh, what is that smell? Gorilla poo. Mum made me clean up the house as punishment. Well, you could have had a shower, mate. Nah, cos I got a plan. Come on! Four cones, please. <laughs> there you go, on the house. Now clear off. You're killing my business. Result!
Guess what? I found the ideal material for our new kitchen curtains. Look. Oh, yes. Very nice, dear. And it was the very last piece they had. It's perfect! I'll have my dream kitchen at last! Oh, you haven't got a fire with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm. All right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. <laughs> no. What we need is a big sail so we can go really fast. <laughs> 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 to make a sail for my skateboard. Got any ideas? Why, <sighs> what? Hey! Can I use that? Uh, yeah. Cool! Thanks, Dad! So perfect, years, and now look at it, ruined. Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't. I'm confiscating it. It's a danger to public safety, and so are you. But you can't do that. It's not yours. Can't I? Watch me. No, wait. Hello, Dennis. Where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. <laughs> well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. <laughs> Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. So the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. Take 
take your rubbish with you! <laughs> right. The little pest thinks he's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now, if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Natcha? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <gasps> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh dear. withdraw. And as for you, Dennis, I... And what on earth is that doing there? No, Dad! Material back safely. Keep painting. She'll be here any minute. Then, son. Oh no, not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think? Oh! 